Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. We're going to take a quick look at the differences between SOLIDWORKS 2011 and SOLIDWORKS 2012 when it comes to sectioning at the part and the assembly level. This is a look at how 2011 is going to behave. When we come in and cut a section view, we've got the ability to edit the color of the section cap and turn the section cap on or off. But really, this is only available while we're here at the preview level. When we go ahead and say OK, everything's going to change back over to a shaded mode. Let's take a look at how SOLIDWORKS 2012 is going to behave. When we come in and do a section view, we've got the ability to change the color still, show the section cap. So this is going to be just like what we had in 2011. Well, let's go modify the section view properties. We've got the ability to keep the cap color. When we do that, that face that is cut is going to remain blue. This might be nice if we happen to have a cut or a feature that lies exactly on that same plane. We may not know whether that part is actually cut or just being sectioned. Let's go back and look at the section view properties again. Maybe we turn off the section cap altogether. When we say OK to this, we actually get more of a surface model look to the part or assembly. This might actually give us a little bit more insight into what's going on in the rest of the part or the assembly. So this has been Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you enjoyed this 2012 video.